What's the Chow Chin Chows? Just be it's Games here and welcome back to another week of the IBL, the Indigo Battle League. It is week. I need both hands to do this, but it is week nine. It is week nine. It is week nine. It is week nine. I mean, this is the final match where I know my opponents. Um, week 10 is the rankings round. I'm probably playing Venom Star and the Portland Tier 2 guys because of the fact that I'm 12th, he's 11th. That's probably how it's going to work. So, yeah, I'm probably playing the Portland Tier 2 guys again. So, we'll see what happens with that. that. That's next week. This week we played the Las Vegas Galaders and it was a beautiful match. And they are coached by my good friend, Neuver Nation. He is an amazing uh, coach and he is really good at what he does with Daffy format and um, I'm sadly not as good but I gave him this guy a good run for his money and I put up a good fight this week and I'm really happy with what the team did I made a few mistakes I will admit this I made a few mistakes and it possibly cost me uh, we'll go into those what those mistakes were in the battle uh, but yeah it was a good match. It was a really good match. And uh, I feel like I learned something. Something I will go into in the battle. Anyway, let's take a look at this team rather quickly. So we first start off with Pixel V uh, Mess Spirit. Uh, with Trick Room, U-Turn, Stealth Rocks and Psychic. With the Colba Berry. Then we have Isaac with the Fit Club with Shadow Bone, Boomerang, Brick Break, and Fire Punch. Then we have PlayStation uh, with Volt Switch, Flash Cannon, Thunderbolt, and Hidden Power Ground. Then we have Sophie, Parting Shot, Toxic Taunt, and Foul Play. Then we have a Nightmare. Uh, Earth Power, Ice Beam, Fusion Bolt, and Freeze Shock with the Ice and EMZ. And then we have Little Bro, the Gligger, Earthquake, uh, Defog, Taunt, and Roost. Okay, so we start off against Neuver Nation. He starts off with Roadhog, his Embor. And he and I started off with Pixel, my mess spirit. My plan was to U-turn out, but when I saw this thing came in, I thought to myself, you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to psychic this thing. He stayed in, although he, uh, as far as I've been told, he didn't mean to. He took he timed out here, and it picked flare blitz for him, and that's what killed him there. As far as I've been told, he timed out. He was meant, he probably meant to switch into this thing. Here I U-turn out. Into Sophie, and the plan was to foul play here, but obvious uh, was to taunt and foul play to stop this thing from happening. Basically, if I had the turns to set up, if I had the ability to stop him, I would have done. But he did set up the Trick Room. He switches into Little Mac. I do get the Taunt off. Doesn't really help. I should have gone for the Foul Play there, really. This time I switch into Little Bro. He has Earthquake. It doesn't affect me. But he does also have Ice Punch, so that hurts. I didn't realize that at the time. I wanted to do a little bit of chip damage to see what kind of set he had. And from what I can see, it's a little defensive. It's not bad. It's not good as do with the defense, but it's a little defensive. This time I switch into Isaac because uh, I wanted to actually do some actual damage to him. He predicts the switch and sadly I lose. Uh, sadly Isaac gets a lot of damage done to him. Does not kill Isaac, but gets a lot of damage done to him. Isaac is literally uh, done at this time, really. The trick room ends here and I didn't outspeed normally. And I probably did outspeed with the trick room up. So, yeah. Bye bye, Isaac. 
This time I go to Pixel. Hoping to try and get the Psychic off. Switches out into uh, into Reuniclus again. I get the uh, Psychic off on this thing. Does barely anything. So it's quite specially defensive. As we can see. Not very physically defensive because I'm able to U-turn and do quite a bit of damage. I go back into Sophie. Again, trying to set up. Again, sets up the trick room. Kind of annoying. Uh, switches out again. This time he goes back into Little Mac. I do foul play this time, actually. Because I seen it, I saw that before, and I thought to myself, you know, why not? I'll foul play this time. And it did quite a bit of damage. It was not a bad move. I switch out this turn because I don't really want to deal with this thing. I well, I can't currently deal with this thing. I guess I could have parting shot it, really, actually. He decides to close combat my pixel. It does live on eight, which I was kind of surprised by. And sadly, also the fact that pixel does not outspeed. So pixel dies here. But that's okay. This time I go into PlayStation. And he switches out into uh, into his pumpkin abu. I Volt Switch here. Into Kieran B. And he gets some leftovers energy back. My plan here was to Z3 shot this thing. Because it wouldn't no one takes that. He switches out, sadly, into Reuniclus. I'd still go for the Z3 shock. And of course, obviously, I kill the Reuniclus. No one. No one's living this. This is a plus 200 power move. No one's living this. It, it would be impossible to live this. Then he switches into Gwen. Gwen is prob uh, Gwen was going. Uh, Gwen decides to Volt Switch here. I sort of knew that was going to happen. This is why I decided to Ice Beam here. Because he was going into his Gore a bit. He was going into his Pumpkin Abu. And I decided to uh, Ice Beam here because I knew this was coming out again. And Kieran B gets a second kill. Here I got a bit cocky. I went for the Free Shock again. I should have... He went for Bug Buzz. I went for Free Shock. I did not realize Free Shock was a two-turn move. I have not played around with Kieran B outside of the IBL in order to learn that Free Shock is a two-turn move. I should have Earth Powered here. It would have done the damage, and it would have done a lot of damage to, uh, to Gwen. It possibly could have won me the match. Sadly, that was uh, the end of... That thing. Uh, sadly, that was the end of uh, uh, Nightmare. This time I decided to go into Little Bro. I sort of hoping Little Bro would outspeed and would be able to tank bug, sh uh, bug buzzers, but sadly, Little Bro could not tank bug buzzers, and that last one was a crit. So, yeah. This time we go to PlayStation. PlayStation has Hidden Power Ground, so my plan was to do something with that. He switches into his Dragalgy. I do get off the Hidden Power Ground. And it does quite a bit of damage to him.
Again, I go for Hidden Power Ground here because it's doing enough damage to do some, it's doing enough damage to do really good damage and possibly kill. It doesn't kill this turn, but it will kill next turn. He also has Hidden Power Ground, and that did a lot of damage to me. But I can kill him with uh, this because I do outspeed. So I kill off Dragalgy. I didn't realize at the time I outsped plate. I outsped uh, this thing. Um, I outsped uh, Hitmonchan too. So Hitmonchan dies to Thunderbolt. And then of course Gwen comes back out again. Bug buzzes. Does quite a bit of damage. I go for the hidden power ground. That does about half. And because I don't have speed Gwen, die uh, um, PlayStation dies here. And then I bring and then all I have left is Sophie. The only attacking move Sophie has is foul play. So that's what I go for. And it lived. Somehow it lived. I don't know how. And Bug Buzz one-shots me. Possibly would have even one-shotted me if I had the berry to the super effective berry. But anyway, that is week nine of the IBL. Congratulations to Neuver Nation on taking the win there. Go and check out his channel, link in the description below, as well as to all the other coaches that take part in the IBL. They are all awesome. This win clinches Neuvern's place in the playoffs. So well done to you and good luck to you in the playoffs. And also, if he had 6 0 me, he would have secured first in the playoffs. So, sadly, commiserations, you cannot, uh, you did not secure first this week, but maybe next week you'll be able to 6 0 your opponent and uh, probably secure, uh, you could be able to secure first that way. We'll honestly see. But anyway, if you did enjoy today's battle, you can go ahead and leave a like, comment, and subscribe, leave an upvote for the channel, and of course, leave a comment on VidMe as well. I'm learning stuff, it's hard. I mean, Free Shock, I didn't realize was a two-turn move. I did not realize that Z uh, Free Shock outside of a Z move is a two-turn move. I did not realize this. I should have Earth-powered, and I am sorry. Okay? I am sorry. But um, if you enjoyed the battle, you know what to do. And until next time, I'm Jewish PH Games. Next week is the last week of the tournament. Uh, last next week is the last week of the IBL for me. Uh, this season, I will be playing uh, Venom Star and his Portland Tier Tugas again. So that's going to be an interesting match. I'm going to try and go all out, trying to not lose this final match of the IBL because I really don't want to be zero and ten. But at this point, you know, it's not that bad. Being zero and ten means nothing. You know, I could just like to be like forfeit next week and it'd be fine because being zero and ten is. You know, now it's almost now it's almost happened. I kind of want it to happen on some level. On some level, I want to be zero and ten. I don't really want it, really. But like on some level, deep down inside me, zero and ten sounds pretty cool. <laughs> but like one and nine sounds pretty cool too. Please let me win next week. <laughs> anyway, until next time, I'm just Beats Games, and I'm out. See you again.